Hello my friends, uh, today I am going to uh, talk about the practice of uh, exchanging oneself with others. In order to do that meditations, uh, first we have to meditate that you know what are the advantages of doing selfish. When I do this meditation, I often think about the human being and animals. If you look at the human being and animals, we human being, we have been killing the millions and millions of animals and fishes. And we are doing this not only for one single day, you know, we have been doing this uh, from decades to decades and centuries to the centuries. And if we, if we ask question by ourselves, are we happy? Are we happy now? What we have got in our life? We have gained nothing. And if we look at the human being, one nation to the another nations, they have been spying to each other, they have been cheating to each other, they have been exploiting to each other, and if we look at the world largest countries, you know, world uh, most developed countries, and they have created uh, so many problems, they have created so many uh, uh, mess by themselves. Now they are not able to clean it up. And they have an endless problem. They have an endless conflict in their countries. And if you look at the state levels, and if you look at the community levels, and like, an, if you look at, uh, if you look from one neighbor to the another neighbors, and if you look at the family levels, there are so many problems created by doing selfish between husband and wife, between parents and, you know, children. And if we look at oneself as an individual person, we are committing so many bad things, such as an act of killing, an act of, you know, lying, an act of uh, stealing an act of exploiting these bad things you know, not only from the religious point of view according to the law in force we are violating the law in force so you know if you look at the self cherishing mind if you look at the like engaging in, uh, uh, like engaging in uh, being selfish. Selfish mind is the source of problems, is the source of unhappiness. So we have to meditate like that. So this is the first step of meditations. And the second step of meditations, we have to meditate that, you know, what are the advantages of, what are the many advantages of uh, cultivating a thought of cherishing others? And if we look at those people who have dedicated their entire life to serve the humanity, to serve the entire world, if I take an example of Mahatma Gandhiji, if we look at the Mahatma Gandhiji's, you know, he has dedicated his entire life to serve the humanity and to serve his own nations. And if you look at, you know, Gandhiji, he is wearing a dhoti and he is carrying a sticks, you know, and he has no bank balance. But one could say that, you know, he is he is the you know happiest man in the world and he is the strongest man in the world 
And if you look at his ideologies, you know, if you look at his, uh, his writing, you know, his practice of ethics and his encouragement, these are unbelievable. And if we take an example of National Mandala, if we take an example of Martin Luther King Jr., and even we can take an example of His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama. He himself saying that I lost my country, but I become a citizen of the world. So if we look at those people who have dedicated their entire life life to serve the humanity to serve the entire world you know they have got everything in their life they have a happiness in their life they have a respect in their life they have a reputation in their life and they have a large number of followers in their life and what we have got, we have been doing a selfish, but we have gained nothing. Actually, we want respect. We want, you know, happiness. We want followers. But we have gained nothing in our life. After doing uh, selfish for so long time, you know, we have gained nothing. So you have to meditate like that. So this is the second step of doing meditation. Then third step of doing the meditation, you have to meditate that, you know, uh, after realizing what are the uh, pros and cons of doing selfish and what are the pros and cons of cultivating the thought of, you know, cherishing others then you have to meditate that uh, since today since uh, uh, since this you know very moment i will dedicate my body my speech and my mind to serve the humanities i'm not going to do any single harm to other people and i will use my hand my legs my eyes to serve you know large number of people and when i talk you know i will talk nicely politely i'm not going to you know cheat other people i'm not going to use you know harsh word to the other people i'm not going to use meaningless talk to the other people and when i think you know uh, at my mental level, you know, when I think, you know, I'm not going to, you know, uh, do any selfish. And I will, you know, think about, you know, uh, uh, other peoples. I will cultivate the thought of cherishing others. So you have to meditate like this. So this is the third step of doing the meditations. And top of that, there is, a, there is an, another uh, meditation. It would be nice if you can do this meditation. This meditation is called <clears throat> uh, Taking and Giving. Uh, actually, you know, in uh, Tibetan Buddhist technical term, we, uh, we say it a tonglen nyamne. Tonglen practice. So when you do these meditations, when you are inhaling your breath, at that time you have to uh, meditate that you know you are taking the difficulties and problems of other sentient beings on yourself. So if you do this practice, you know, this practice will help you to reinforce. It will help you to uh, strengthen uh, your practice of compassion. And when you are releasing your breath, when you are exhaling your breath, at that time you have to meditate that, you know, you are 
giving or you are dedicating your happiness and your course of happiness to uh, other sentient beings. So if you do this meditation, this meditation will help you to enhance your practice of love. So these are the meditations uh, you have to do. So if you do these meditations, you know, uh, gradually, gradually, one day you would be able to uh, remove your self uh, and self-cherishing mind and you would be able to do the practice of uh, cherishing others. And eventually, I think you, know, you would be able to attain the mind of enlightenment, which is called bodhicitta in Sanskrit term. So if we do this practice regularly, and you are not going to create any kind of problems uh, you know, based on you know, being selfish. And eventually I think that you know, if all the people do this practice, then we are going to, you know, uh, we are going to undermine our selfish mind and we can create a peaceful world and beautiful world by ourselves. That's all I want to say. Thank you.